In Yandere Simulator, the player can join clubs. Joining a club grants benefits to the player. In this video, I will describe all of the benefits granted by the school's clubs. Please remember that, between now and the release of the final game, any one of the benefits featured in this video may be adjusted to be stronger or weaker, or may be replaced with a completely different type of benefit. The first benefit I'm going to describe may sound strange, but just give me a chance and I'll explain how it can be useful to you. The cooking club benefit is the ability to prepare a plate of snacks. This will allow you to hand out food to people. Handing out food increases your reputation. Giving people free food may be the fastest possible way to boost your reputation. Having a low reputation creates a lot of problems for the player. Students will automatically be suspicious of you and won't let their guard down around you if you have a low reputation, meaning that it will be harder to trespass, steal, or commit murder. Students won't offer you tasks if you have a low reputation, meaning that it's impossible to make friends with a low reputation. Compliments and apologies mean less when you have a low reputation, meaning that it's very difficult to repair your reputation once it's gotten low. Some of the methods for eliminating your rivals require you to gain someone's trust, and nobody will trust you with a low reputation, meaning that some elimination methods will be unavailable if your reputation is too low. And, of course, if your reputation drops too low, Senpai will hear about what a terrible person you are, and you'll get a game over. You might think that handing out snacks isn't a very impressive benefit, but once reputation begins to affect nearly every aspect of gameplay, you'll come to realize just how useful the cooking club's benefit can be. The drama club benefit is the ability to access gloves and masks. Wearing gloves prevents your fingerprints from getting onto any weapons that you use for murder, and allows you to frame other students for murder if you kill someone using a weapon that another student has touched. Wearing a mask allows Yandere-chan to hide her face. With a mask over her face, nobody can identify her, so you won't lose any reputation points when you're spotted while bloody, armed, or insane. At this point in time, Yandere Simulator does not factor eyewitness testimony into police investigations. If I decide that the player can be arrested if an adequate number of students name Yandere-chan as the murderer, then wearing a mask will prevent eyewitnesses from reporting you to the police. Once a masked murderer has been spotted on school grounds, the headmaster will permanently ban masks from the school, meaning that you can only use this method to get away with murder one time before you lose the benefit of masks forever. If Senpai witnesses Yandere-chan bloody, armed, insane, or committing murder, the player will get a game over. However, if Yandere-chan is wearing a mask, Senpai cannot identify Yandere-chan, so a game over does not occur. It's supposed to be difficult to eliminate rivals because of how much time they spend around Senpai. However, if the player could use masks to commit murder right in front of Senpai's face without any consequence, this would mean that masks could be used to eliminate one rival from the game with no challenge. As a result, I think that Senpai should be the type of person who would run straight up to a masked killer and rip the mask right off their face. However, I lack the animations to implement this, so you'll just have to imagine it for now. The Occult Club has two benefits. Everyone who is in the Occult Club is considered weird, but harmless. If you're in the Occult Club, other students will take longer to notice you when you're bloody armed or insane, because they generally just don't care about anyone who is in the Occult Club. The other benefit is that Yandere-chan will lose less sanity when committing murder. You may think that this is not a useful benefit, but it's actually very beneficial depending on how you intend to play the game. As explained in a previous video, your sanity is meant to determine the length of your attack animations. High sanity results in a 2 second attack animation, low sanity results in a 4 second attack animation, and no sanity results in a 6 second attack animation. If killing a student depletes 20% of your sanity, this means that you can only kill two students before being stuck with the 4 second attack animation, and two students later you're stuck with the 6 second attack animation. 
If you're trying to chase down and kill every person who saw you commit murder, taking six seconds to murder a single student will really slow you down and will allow your witnesses to get away. On the other hand, if you could reduce the amount of sanity lost when killing students, you could kill many more students much faster. If you use the panties that help you retain your sanity and use the occult club benefit, you would lose no sanity when killing students. Let's use math to see the difference. If you are losing sanity with each kill, you could only kill seven students within 30 seconds. If you are not losing sanity with each kill, you could kill 15 students within 30 seconds. You may not wish to play Yandere Simulator as a ruthless, merciless, bloodthirsty serial killer. However, if you do choose to play the game that way, the Occult Club is your best option because it will allow you to keep moving quickly during a killing spree. The Art Club's benefit is the ability to wear a painter's smock. While wearing the painter's smock, you can run around covered in blood and nobody will think you're suspicious because they'll assume that it's just red paint. The Light Music Club benefit is the ability to access a cello case that will make it easier to transport body parts and large weapons without being considered suspicious. The Martial Arts Club benefit is the ability to instantly win physical confrontations. However, I may decide that this ability is too powerful. In the future, this club's benefit may simply be to make it easier to win physical confrontations rather than automatically win all confrontations. The Photography Club benefit is the ability to take photographs of students' faces without being considered suspicious. Because taking photographs of students' faces and sending those photographs to InfoChan will allow you to learn tons of information about those students, this is a very useful ability. As mentioned in a previous video, the members of the Photography Club are a team of junior detectives who will actively attempt to hunt down anyone who is causing trouble in their school. However, they have one blind spot. They trust each other so much that they could never fathom the idea that one of their own members is a serial killer. If you join the photography club, the club members will let their guard down around you, making it much easier to eliminate them. The info club. Well, we don't talk about the info club. Now, the science club is a very interesting one. Similarly to the Occult Club, everyone in the Science Club is a total weirdo. They're like a bunch of junior mad scientists. Their specialty is robotics. There's even a rumor that one of the members of the club is... <laughs> well, only a fool would believe a rumor like that. Their goal is to build a military-grade powered exoskeleton armed with enough firepower to destroy... Oh, wait. That's not right. Their goal is to get noticed and hired by a prestigious company by inventing new technology while they're just high school students. To this end, they spend their time trying to invent useful robots. Their most recent invention is a cleaning robot that is designed to clean spilled liquid. If you join the science club, you will gain access to this robot. If you murder someone and then activate the robot, the robot will automatically seek out bloodstains and suck up all of the spilled blood. This saves you the trouble of cleaning up blood with a mop. The robot's one weakness is that it cannot climb up stairs. So, if you wanted to clean up blood on a higher floor, you'll have to pick it up and carry it yourself. The robot can suck up a lot of blood before it becomes full. When it is full, you can empty it at a sink. The robot is just a prototype, so it might not always head straight for the bloodstains that you want it to clean. The number displayed on top of the robot will tell you what floor it is currently trying to access. Floor 1, Floor 2, Floor 3, or the rooftop. The sports club's benefit is the ability to run faster and carry sports equipment anywhere without being considered suspicious. The gardening club's benefit is the ability to carry gardening equipment anywhere without being considered suspicious. Because the gardening club's benefit is functionally identical to the sports club's benefit, but without the ability to run faster, I will probably give the gardening club another benefit in the future. 
It might have something to do with being able to bury dead bodies in the gardening club's garden, but I need to put some thought into it first. And with that, you are now aware of every single club in Yandere City. Yandere Dev! Yandere Dev! Aren't you forgetting someone? Ugh. <sighs> what is it now? The Gaming Club! Aren't you going to talk about us? Go on! Tell us what kind of cool benefits a player gets for joining our club! Oh, that's right. You guys. I almost forgot. Um... I can't think of any way that a video game-themed club could possibly benefit a serial killer in a high school. So, the player can't actually join your club. You guys are basically just a background decoration. Uh, oh, okay. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, a few weeks ago, I received an email. The email said, Dear Yandere Dev, the game is too hard. Please make it easier. I responded, Sorry, it's only going to get harder. The currently available version of the game is a debug sandbox for testing features, and should not be taken as an indication of the final game's quality. However, getting away with murder without any suspicion in Yandere Simulator should be just as challenging as achieving the best possible score in a Hitman game. In the final version of Yandere Simulator, the odds will be stacked against the player, and the purpose of clubs is to offer the player an advantage to even the odds. I don't know if you've realized this yet, but the point of every club is to trivialize some aspect of the game. The cooking club trivializes reputation. The drama club trivializes witnesses and fingerprints. The occult club trivializes sanity penalties. The art club trivializes bloodiness. The light music club trivializes the act of corpse disposal. The martial arts club trivializes physical confrontations. The photography club trivializes photography penalties. The science club trivializes bloodstains. The sports and gardening clubs trivialize the act of carrying around large, suspicious weapons. The point of clubs is to take a feature of the game that you don't like and completely throw it out the window. Is reputation your least favorite part of the game? Join the cooking club. Is cleaning up blood your least favorite part of the game? Join the science club. Are you more interested in mass murder than in social sabotage? Join the occult club. The clubs are there so that you can play the game the way you want to. You might find that all of your strategies for disposing of rivals will revolve around the club you've chosen. You might even switch clubs once a week in order to target a specific weakness of your latest rival. In short, club benefits are supposed to be your most useful tools. And that's why I've been working on implementing clubs for the past few months. I'll probably have to spend some time balancing and adjusting each club benefit until every club is equally useful and appealing. But, for now, I feel satisfied with the current state of the clubs, so I'm ready to return to implementing new rival elimination methods. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. I'm a baka. Just as I was about to upload this video to YouTube, I realized that I forgot to mention a couple of things. I think it would be really cool if Yandere-chan could join the delinquent gang. Unlike the clubs, being a delinquent would have negative side effects. You could only join if your reputation was low, and you had gone through the trouble of befriending each and every delinquent in the gang. You would be kicked out of the gang if you let your reputation get too high. While in the gang, your reputation would drop every single day. Students would be naturally suspicious of you whenever you're around, and would not be willing to give you tasks or perform favors for you, unless you had befriended them before joining the group. Normally, being sent to the counselor's office will only result in a harsh reprimand. However, 
As long as you're a delinquent, being sent to the counselor's office would result in an automatic game over. To balance all of these negative side effects, the gang would grant you a powerful advantage of some sort, perhaps the ability to intimidate students in order to force them to do favors for you, or the ability to threaten students in order to make them too scared to report you or gossip about you for something you've done. I haven't decided exactly what the specifics will be, but I wanted to share the idea with you. The only other thing I wanted to mention is that it may be possible for Yandere-chan to join the student council. This would not grant you any benefits. Instead, it would only give you a bunch of new responsibilities. Failing in your responsibilities or misbehaving while in the student council would result in immediately being kicked out of the council. The only reason to join the student council is because it would be part of an elaborate scheme that would allow you to eliminate one of your rivals without any suspicion. And with that, now I'm really done talking about club benefits. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.